So the pure self or the attempt at realizing the highest through contemplation is the most powerful purifier. Purifier of the heart. Purifier means quietening the heart. Tat swayam yoga samsiddha. And this cannot be imparted to you by anyone. The Guru cannot give it to you. Swayam samsiddha. Each one will have to develop it and gain it by himself. Swayam apneyap. This cannot be communicated by anybody. It cannot be given to you. Music. A great musician's son. Now the musician cannot give music to him. What he has earned through music, he can pass it on. But the talent in him, he cannot. He can give him training, he can advise him, but he will have to cultivate it in himself. In the same way, wisdom cannot be transferred. Information and knowledge can be transferred, but the wisdom, the direct experience, each one will have to get it for himself. Thus, by your own personal effort, yoga, practice, contemplation, kalena, samsiddha, those who have purified their mind sufficiently, kalena, in time, it's not that immediately, the moment you contemplate, you realize it. Slowly, slowly, just as you compose yourself and in time you glide into deep sleep, from one plane of consciousness to another, in the same way, kalena, in time, atmani vindadi gains, the experience of a total self. So that is faith. Everyone in the world has got belief. But a couple almost a couple or four or five people has got faith. Every one of us has got belief. Even the atheist has got belief in something beyond. He may not accept it as God, but he will have to say a supreme intelligence is behind the universe. Because he did not make this universe nor did his father or his mother. Thus everybody has got belief, but not faith. Belief is emotional. I believe in God. It is emotional. Emotional belief will break. When more than one or few tragedies come one over the other, your business going down, your partner wants to separate, your wife sick, son had an accident, three, four tragedies together come, all your belief oozes out. You may even throw away the cross, the crescent, or the Krishna, the symbol of the Lord whom you have been worshipping and adoring, you throw it through the window. In another one week's time, wife is all right, business is picking up, <laughs> partner doesn't want to go, things have become normal, then the belief comes back again. On the other hand, if it is a faith in you, the faith that moves mountains, the more lashes from the outer world comes to you, the more you hold on to what 
you have faith in. So believe every one of you are God. You have to develop it into a faith. How will you do it? Belief. Vishwas. When reinforced with understanding, it grows to become a faith. I believe in communism. It's one thing. I have faith in it. It's totally a different one. If it is only a belief in a political ideology, the moment the police or the FBI comes, he says, no, no, I am just a student, that is all. You compromise. But if it is a faith in a philosophy, the more you are crushed, the more you hold on to that faith. Carefully. You must have faith in the higher reality. How will I get it? By the study of the scriptures. Scriptures are the only textbooks that expound the nature of the reality. And with that understanding, when it becomes clearer and clearer, your belief grows to become a faith. Shraddhavan Lepate Jnana. One who has mere belief in the Upanishads or in the scriptures is not sufficient. It must become a faith with you. Therefore, the entire mind as well as the intellect gets involved in the search. The search is possible only after seeking the knowledge. At this moment, you are studying the Bhagavad Gita, you are seeking what the reality is. Thereafter comes your, faith, your search for the reality, and the search is not cannot be steady if your faith is not strong.